Hey, Charger History. Today's essential question is, what was the Renaissance? Welcome to your new unit, Unit 11, which is called the Renaissance. The Renaissance was the dawn of a new age after the end of Europe's medieval period. It took place between the 1400s and 1600s in Western Europe. It's known for being a time of wealth and arts and innovation. We will end Unit 11 with a, with a research project about something called the Harlem Renaissance. This took place in 1920s America. How could this be similar to the European Renaissance from the 1400s? Well, they're both called a Renaissance. So in this unit, we'll find out exactly what a Renaissance is and what these two periods have in common. You don't need your notebook today. Instead, we'll, back, we'll be back to reading and annotating about what we learned. Please follow along with your article as we read. Don't fall behind and don't wait till the end to annotate. You've got to annotate as we go. You'll understand better if you stop and annotate as we go along. Your practice grade depends on you doing a great job annotating. Think about all the cultures we learned about this year. In every civilization, there were great innovations, but there were also hard times and setbacks. This is a picture of the fall of Rome. So no matter how great your society was, you also experience hard times. Um, every human and every human society goes through good times and bad. The Middle Ages in particular was a turbulent time for Europe as people were concerned mainly about survival. Wars were common, so people felt unsafe, which was why knights were necessary. The majority of people in Europe were peasants and they didn't have enough money or spare time to develop new ideas and innovation. Meanwhile, many of the scientific innovations from ancient Greece and Rome were either rejected or forgotten. Good, if you're hearing this, you should have already annotated by summarizing the paragraph that we just read together. Make sure that you have a summary there because remember that is part of your practice grade and it helps your GPA go up when you have great annotations. It also helps you understand what we're reading better. Let's keep going. During the Middle Ages, um, many people in Europe, especially peasants, like you see here in these pictures, lived in terrible conditions. Some believed, as they were taught at church, that life on earth was supposed to be difficult and that they should not expect to have any comforts. The church preached to peasants that heaven would be the reward for a modest life on earth. But as Europeans learned about the old Roman and Greek ways, they began to believe as ancients had, that life should be rich and as comfortable as possible. They believed that a person should seek talents and skills and that they should work to increase their standard of living and the standards of living around them. Um, so this isn't in your passage, but just so you know, the big way that people thought you could increase the standard of life that you had was by education. So here is a school in the Middle Ages when people are starting to learn to read. And here is a university or a college that they started during the Middle Ages. Here's something funny. When you went to school in the Middle Ages, um, your teachers had sticks in their hands um, so that they could hit you. Good thing we don't do that today. Pause and summarize that paragraph, please. All right, let's keep going. The Renaissance began around 1350 AD in Italy and it continued until about 1600 AD. The word Renaissance means rebirth. The Renaissance was a time of coming out of the dark. It was a rebirth of education, science, art, literature, music, and a better life for people in general. These are all things that were invented during the Renaissance, and this is some famous Renaissance art. The Renaissance began in Italy. The Italian peninsula had been home to the Roman Empire for centuries. It had been the world center of culture, power, business, and technology. The ideas that evolved and were developed in this region would have an enduring impact for thousands of years, um, including Italian food. Yum, so spaghetti and pizza came from that region, but that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> Let's talk about some other things that were actually invented during this time. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, let's go to the next paragraph. I want you to pause and read that paragraph to yourself. This is the paragraph about humanism, the second to last paragraph on your page. Please pause and read this paragraph to your own self and then summarize it. When you're done, you can press play.
All right, if you're hearing this, you need to be done reading and summarizing that paragraph about humanism. As the study of humanism became popular in Italy in the mid-1300s AD, humanist teachers began to replace the priests and church leaders as the main source of education in Italy. These humanists opened schools where they taught the children of wealthy families to value the works and traditions of classic Rome and Greece. All right, this dog from the Renaissance says that it's time for you to X out of this video and push 4.0 if you're done.